this video, we are going to use the JASP software in the analysis of our data for the test of relationship. So as you can see on screen, we have here a data for immunization rate represented by letters IR and mortality rate represented by letters MR. We have here a data from year 1 to 12 reflecting the immunization rate and mortality rate. For year 1, the immunization rate was 65.6 and 58.1 as the mortality. So let us assume that this is a data for immunization rate and mortality rate of infants in a specific country. And we are trying to associate if immunization rate and mortality rate are significantly associated. So your first question, your first research question would be, what is the average immunization rate of infants in that specific country? And for the second question, the average mortality rate of infants in a specific country from years 1 to 12. Remember that our JASP software cannot successfully import an Excel file. So you need to change the file type into a .csv format. In this example, our file name is dataset3 and save your data type into a comma separated value file type format and click save. This is the welcome home screen of the JAST software. It is an open source project with structural support from the University of Amsterdam. The newest version of the JAST software as of this time is 0 0.14. For you to successfully import the data, you may click the three bars on the topmost portion on the left side of the screen. This will be your portal of entry to import your saved data set. You click open, and then you click computer and browse. Remember where did you save your file? So in my case, I saved the file in desktop with a file name dataset. 3.csv. Click open. In this case, we have successfully imported our data set. Remember, in the context of research, you may phrase the research question, first research question, what is the average immunization rate of infants in a specific country from years 1 to 12? Second, what is the average mortality rate of infants from years 1 to 12 in that specific country. Your question numbers 1 and 2 are considered to be descriptive. You may answer that one by doing a simple averaging. For you to answer the first question, you may add all the scores and divide it by 12. You can also do the same for mortality rate. You add all the scores and you divide it by 12. For the third question, which is considered to be inferential, you need to test the association between immunization rate and mortality rate using a Pearson product moment correlation. So to do that, it's very simple using the JASP software. You click regression, and then you click correlation. Remember that we are trying to associate or correlate immunization rate and mortality rate of infants from years 1 to 12 in that specific country. So you drag IR. Using this arrow, you transfer the variable IR to this box and also the mortality rate. Remember, the software can easily analyze the data. And as you can see on screen, you have here the result of the analysis. As you can see on screen, you have here the result of the analysis. Data shows that Immunization rate and mortality rate of infants in that specific country is significantly related. If we are setting our alpha level as 0 0.05, to conclude that the association or the relationship is significant, the p-value should be equal or below 0 0.05. And in this case, our p-value is less than 0 0.001, that confirms that the association or relationship 
between immunization rate variable and your mortality rate is significantly related. For you to interpret the value of the magnitude or the strength of relationship between immunization rate and mortality rate, you can have this as your guide. And since the value is 0.966, that means that the relationship of immunization rate and mortality rate of infants in that specific country is very high. For the interpretation on the test of relationship, you may mention first the strength or the magnitude, second would be in the direction, and lastly could if the relationship is significant or not. So in this case, the magnitude is very high, the direction is negative, and this is statistically significant. So the interpretation would be, there is a very high negative, since the sign is negative, significant, since the p-value is lower than 0 0.05. So there is a very high negative significant relationship between the variable immunization rate and mortality rate of infants. But remember, the correlation doesn't mean causation.